I thought it was a, a great game for us. Uh, really, was really concerned about the Kansas State experience level. They're well coached. Um, I knew we would have to disrupt them defensively in order for us to have a chance. And I thought that we did that for three quarters and it ended up paying off for us. Nick Suss. Coach, you talked about the defense. Just what did you guys do so well to force those turnovers and kind of create offense with the defense? Well, we, we just branded our defense and it's called Double D. So we want to dictate and disrupt. All right, and so we've been working on that. As you know, we pick up full court, and then we want to be in the passing lane. So when you have teams that really thrive on a certain cadence on the offensive end, uh, defensively, you have to disrupt that. Uh, or, or they would have really punished us because they, have, they run great stuff on the offensive end. So the game plan was just to not allow them to, not allow them to reverse the ball, not allow them to see open people, and just collectively play team defense. You talked so much this offseason about how much of a difference it's going to be with just the size of this team. Yeah. Is this kind of what you expected with having these girls who are bigger down low and kind of being able to disrupt? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, I, you know, I know as a coach it happens. You have to get over it. But, you know, <clears throat> if we had AP, we, it, it would even be more aggressive. Um, but we don't. And so... Uh, we're just really proud of our team. And yes, you know, I, I told you guys from year one, I was like, year one was assessment, you know, year two was foundation, year three is proof of concept, you know, and, and this is year three. And so um, <clears throat> we finally got the kids in that we thought could allow us to play the way that we want to play and represent Ole Miss. And um, I thought that they did that well tonight. David? Coach, you already suspended off several runs from Kansas yeah. in the second half tonight. Just uh, your reaction to how they responded to those runs? Hmm. Like I thought they would. You know, shout out to our scout team, our managers <laughs> that have become scout team members that have been practicing every day. Uh, we've, we've been through those scenarios a couple times. And actually, when we had the timeout, I didn't say a word. I just looked at them um, because this team believes they're all bought in. Um, they're all in, and, and they came here to do something special, and I know we're young and inexperienced, but what they know is playing hard, and, and so I told them, I said, ladies, when we fight, anytime we fight, you can't expect for someone not to swing back, you know? If they don't, then you're just going to, you're going to, you know, beat their ass, you know? <laughs> so we expected them to punch back, and they did, and that was their punch. Uh, but but we were able to withstand it throughout the end. Secondly, uh, I, I fear sitting next to you there, but uh, just your thoughts on Danetta's game tonight. You know, um, I got with Netta before this game, and she thought we was going to get in the gym to take shots and shoot. And I, and I, and I told her, I, I don't, I don't want to shoot with her because this kid has worked extremely hard for a year, I have watched her work. And I said, Netta, when you study for a test, you don't have to study anymore. You know the material. You're ready. Let the game pay you back. And, um, and she allowed herself to do that tonight. And she was free, uh, unconscious. Uh, we'll, we'll get her. Offensively, we have a long way to go. You know, we'll, we'll clean that up. but. You saw her out there just playing and getting into that mode, and, and you hadn't seen her best basketball yet. It's way more for her. Really proud of her. Tonight when, when Madison Scott made, made a three-point play the old-fashioned way, and she got so <laughs> emotional, and you ended up pulling her out after that. Just talk about her and the passion she plays with. You know, Maddie, Maddie is a young lady that turned down four other top 25 programs to come here. She didn't come here to lose, you know. She she came here to win, and so she's our emotional player, and she just cried like a baby at the end of the game, and I know why she cried. She cried because when she chose us, a lot of people told her she was making a mistake. A lot of people told her she wouldn't be a McDonald's All-American. A lot of people asked why why Ole Miss, 
And so this, she wanted this game, and I was really, uh, it was really, I was like a proud parent just watching her just blossom out there. And I know sometimes she can get a bit emotional, so I just wanted to give her a little break. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. What steps do you guys for being a little bit cleaner on that end tonight? Oh, that's just going to be time, you know. Um, you have a team. Our chemistry is not there yet, you know. My whole team is new, except for maybe three or four people. So they have to play in order to get that. And we've been spending a lot of time on our defensive end. And because usually you can kind of figure that out as you play offensively. And we want our defense to be the engine to our offense. So it'll get cleaner. I mean, we only had 14 turnovers, which was not bad. Uh, we forced them into 25 turnovers. That's, that's the difference in the ball game, you know? Uh, the shooting percentages compared to ours, <clears throat> extremely low. I mean, our kids are just playing hard. So through, through our, as we continue to play, uh, we'll get better on the offensive end. We still don't know who we want to be offensively yet. And so we'll have to work that out through competition. Thank you. Thanks, Parrish. Any further questions for Coach? Thanks, guys. Right.